moisture sensor mounted on the clean grain elevator is continuously gathering grain to collect moisture data. In the grain tank beneath the loading auger, you will have your mass flow sensor or your impact plate. As grain passes through the clean grain paddle chain, it strikes the impact plate registering mass flow of grain. The mass flow sensor needs to be inspected for material buildup. Any material buildup on the mass flow sensor will detour the active yield system from registering correct grain flow. Once clean, inspect your mass flow sensor for any damages or cracks that may lead to a mass flow sensor failure. I'll begin the process by accessing the calibrations and procedures icon. Scroll to locate moisture sensor temperature calibration and select. Let's review the calibration process. Select calibrate. I will reference a reliable temperature source and ensure that the value matches the sensor's temperature. By adjusting the sensor so that it registers the appropriate value, I will select save. John Deere moisture systems have two ways to document grain moisture. The first is actively and can be adjusted with a correction value on the display based on the data coming from the elevator. The second, if an issue arises, a operator can input a fixed moisture that allows lower downtime and continued accurate yield data. Accessing the grain handling icon, select the moisture header. From here, the moisture alarm can be enabled and customized and a moisture correction value can be input. Checking the fixed moisture box will allow the operator to input an average moisture value to continue harvesting. Utilizing the fixed moisture option reduces downtime and keeps moisture values stable to generate respectable yield data. Next, we will attempt the mass flow vibration calibration and moisture sensor calibration. The mass flow vibration calibration syncs the mass flow sensor to the natural vibrations of the machine with the header engaged. Without this calibration, the mass flow sensor may incorporate the vibrations felt throughout the machine with the yield data. From the calibrations and procedures list, we will select mass flow vibration calibration. After reviewing the calibration process, I select calibrate. A list of the required systems will populate. Here you'll notice that there is an option to perform the calibration without a header engaged, but this is not recommended. Once all the green check marks have been populated by meeting the required criteria, we select the next button. The calibration will proceed automatically and complete. We hit save to store the calibration. If a machine is being utilized by the same owner for multiple use seasons, the standard and active system save calibrations per each crop type. For machines that are new to the owner and have prior calibrations, or if the owner would like to remove past calibration values, we have the option to remove those existing calibrations. Let's take a look at a standard calibration to see more. The Yield Calibration tab will be selected to start the process. A menu will populate the current calibration quality along with sample status, a record sheet of the past samples, and a count of how many unmatched samples are stored. The unmatched samples are samples that the operator has not associated an actual weight to after unloading. Let's access the advanced setting menu here. In the advanced setting menu for yield calibrations, we can select a factory reset, change the calibration modes, and configure manual calibrations. Once manual calibration is selected, the operator can edit and select samples. This opens a menu of samples where the operator can select or deselect certain calibrations based on the level of margin to manually adjust the yield data points. The Advanced Options buttons is commonly used for machine-to-machine -machine yield calibration transfer. If a machine is coming into a field that does not have calibrations for this crop type or a repair was performed on a machine that cleared its history, a set of data points can be transferred to the machine from here. The values can be referenced and transferred. Transferred data points can also be adjusted to accommodate machine-to-machine -machine operational differences. Now that we have reviewed the calibrations and processes to begin harvest, 
let's review the processes to create a new yield calibration. In the yield calibration page, press the record icon to begin a calibration. Hit start and begin harvesting. Accumulate at least 6,000 pounds of grain and the right hand indicator will visually represent an acceptable load. Once the load has been taken, it will be stored in the unmatched samples category where the operator can match up a scale weight at a later time. When taking multiple samples, it is beneficial to have each sample taken at a different mass flow rate. Three calibrations are the minimal requirement and the more saved loads you have will mean more accuracy. When operating the standard yield calibration, it is a good habit to check the system periodically throughout the season by performing an additional calibration to ensure data consistency. Keep in mind that when utilizing active yield, the standard yield calibrations are not utilized as data points. This wraps up S700 yield and moisture calibrations. Please be sure to check out the active yield session to see how automated calibration will save you time and give you more accurate data from your S700 combine.